With Crusader Kings II Charlemagne, we're expanding Crusader Kings with another 100 years and adding lots of interesting features for the early game. Charlemagne is roughly the size of Old Gods in terms of the amount of features that we've added and um, the amount of changes that we've made to culture and religion and stuff like that. One of the exciting new features that we're adding is the tribal holding system, which is a replacement for the castle, city, and uh, temple holdings that we had previously. They're upgraded primarily using prestige rather than money, and they have some different mechanics in terms of how they interact with their vassals and things like that. Previously, you could only create new kingdoms by uh, creating existing Dejur kingdoms, but we've changed that system now, so you can create a new kingdom or empire from any previous lower tier title. So any kingdom can create its own empire, which will be named after the kingdom, or any duchy can be used to create a new kingdom. The idea is that you're not supposed to be as locked to the de jure system. So with this expansion, we've also put a lot of focus on the character Charlemagne. And uh, if you start playing as Charlemagne, you will be king of one half of the Frankish Empire. And the other half will be ruled by your brother, Carloman, and there will be a rivalry between you. And we've built kind of a story around that, where we have special events relating to Charlemagne's family and different characters there. There will be a possibility for you to kind of follow a historical path by choosing certain options in events that will appear or you can choose to disregard this and do other things. This is kind of a new thing for us in uh, CK2. We've had quite deep story events with characters, but usually not for our player characters. So we think this is going to be fun to play and will change quite a lot the way you play initially if you play as this character. One thing that happens when you're playing Crusader Kings is obviously that you see the story of your characters and your, their descendants and your whole dynasty unfold. And uh, one thing we've always thought would be fun to add to the game is some kind of record of this. And this is what we're adding in Charlemagne. You're now going to have a dynasty chronicle where all the deeds and events of significance that happen to your main character will be recorded. And uh, then as you die, your heirs will continue writing the chronicle and this is going to be viewable in the interface at any time. You can open your family chronicle and, and look back and see who was that that wronged your family at least 200 years ago. Maybe it's time to get back at them. For some time, something that we've wanted to do is to remove the assassination button. Now we feel that we've put enough focus on the assassination plots. The assassination button is no longer needed. It's been removed, and it's something that we've wanted to do for a very long time. Another thing that we've done with assassinations is that a player who is the target of an assassination plot will now be able to defend himself. We'll be able to go into hiding, which makes it much, much harder to assassinate you. Of course, it has its drawbacks because, you know, you live in hiding, you can't rule your realm, you will need a regent, you will get some penalties to uh, diplomatic relations and uh, relations with your vassals. The 8th century is a quite different world from even the 9th century, actually. And uh, what we've had to do with the Charlemagne expansion is uh, do a lot of research and think a lot about how to represent this world to the players. For example, in 769, there's still no such thing as the Holy Roman Empire, because that obviously was founded by Charlemagne. So there will be a decision for the players to actually found the Holy Roman Empire, and it might not look the same way it did historically, obviously. We will have several new cultures and uh, there will be some changes to religion as well. We will have one new pagan religion and uh, one new Muslim sect as well. Players will be able to see how the cultural and religious landscape of uh, Europe changes during the 8th century and, and beyond. We will have the early East Slavs, we will have Saxons, we will have Picts, early Franks who are not the same as the French. We'll have Lombards, we'll have the Swabi, Visigoths. So we've added all these elements to paint a picture of the 8th century and uh, try to make them blend together into something that's going to be really fun and interesting to play. As with all of our expansions, we're also releasing a free patch that will contain the tribal system. So in 867 and even in later start dates, you'll be able to have tribal holdings and you'll be able to play as them as long as you have the prerequisite DLCs. And the assassination changes that we're doing are also in the patch so um, everyone's going to be able to enjoy the new assassinations. Crusader Kings 2 Charlemagne will be available on the 14th of October, so you can start planning your new custom empires and your assassinations now. <laughs>